Okay, guys, uh, hopefully you lot have had a chance to go through and have a look at some of the uh, quadrant sampling videos that I've shown you um, from last week. Uh, this is an exemplar exercise, I suppose, for a practical um, that I was going to get you to do as an assessment. Uh, I'm modifying it so it's something that you can do at home. Uh, you can record yourself doing it and then um, upload that for me um, into, uh, in, into Sector um, or potentially into our OneNote. Um, so this is just an example exercise. Uh, we've got an ecologist. They're trying to calculate the uh, population density and the population size of daisies in a field. Now the field's 30 metres by 30 metres. Um, the first thing that the ecologist will do is they go away, they set the field up um, into a grid pattern, and then using Excel, uh, they will randomly generate um, 12 sections to, uh, to go and visit. So each section gets numbered, and then they get um, Excel to generate a, a list of numbers, and those numbers will be the ones that they will then go and, uh, and do their quadrant sampling in. Now it's really really important that when we do quadrant sampling that we try and uh, and try and hit a minimum of ten percent of the total area. So if we've got quadrats that are three meters by three meters, uh, that gives us a nine meter squared quadrat. We've got a total area which is um, nine hundred square meters. So thirty times thirty gives us nine hundred. Um, then in order, to, uh, in order to get ourselves our 10%, what we're looking at is trying to, uh, to make sure that we get 90 um, metres squared. Uh, so if we're doing 12 sections or 12 uh, squares in the grid, and they're three by three, that gives us over our 10%, so that's okay. Um, if any of this is confusing, look, you've got the video, you can always go back and you can watch it at any time. So they go and they, uh, they, they randomly throw these, uh, these quadrats down and I've just labelled them uh, A to L um, in, in the grid. And what they do is they then count the number of daisies in each of those quadrats. And that's what this table here is um, trying to show you. So that's what that table there is trying to show you. That's the, the quadrats and the number of daisies that was in them. Now what it's asking you to do is to go through and calculate the total population density and the population size and to try and show your working out. Okay, so this is how we're going to work our way through it. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to start off by calculating our um, population density. So um, you get I will provide you with a, um, a data sheet that gives you some of these equations, okay? But population density, so I'll just write all this down for you, okay? Pop density is going to be equal to your number of individuals divided by the area that you sampled. And it's important that you realize that it is the area that is sampled, not the total area, okay? So in this case, what you do is you would go through and you would add up how many individuals were there in total. So in this case, there was 131 of them. Uh, how uh, big was the area that was sampled? Um, so we've got, let's just put this data in. There were 12 quadrats and each quadrat was nine meters squared. So when you put that into, uh, into your equation, you get 131 divided by 108. And that will come out at 1.21 individuals per meter squared. Okay, so that's how we work out the population density. So that one's relatively straightforward. It gets a little bit more complicated when we want to go through and now calculate the, um, uh, the population size. Okay, so I'm just going to um, delete out some of this stuff because we don't need it anymore. Okay, forgive me, it's a bit of an average looking video I know. Now I'm going to keep that there because I want to uh, want to use that one. 
Okay, so we know that that there is our density, so I'm just going to keep that out to one side. So population size is our density times the total area. So we make the assumption that the density that we have just calculated, out, calculated in the previous um, calculation um, is the same across the board. Now we know that that's not the case, but this is just generally how we uh, how we go about doing things. Remember, this is an estimate only. So our population size is going to be that density that we've just calculated um, multiplied by the total area. So we're going to put that into our equation, 1.21 times, and our area is 30 times 30, which is 1.21 times 900 metres squared. And so when you put that into your calculator, you should end up with a value of approximately... 1,091.67 individuals. And that's as difficult as it gets, really. Okay, You've got to start off by calculating your population density. Once you know your population density, you can then work out your population size. Um, if you've got any issues after you've been watching this video, please um, give me a call. Uh, send me a message and, uh, and we'll work something out. Thanks, guys.